Hey everyone, and welcome back to Developer Soapbox. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install JRuby. If you're not familiar with JRuby, it's simply a Java implementation of the Ruby language. So the first thing you need to do in order to download JRuby is go to the official site, which is jruby.org. Once you're in the site, go into the downloads section. In the download section, you should see a JRuby binary zip. Go ahead and click on that to download. Once the file is downloaded, unzip the archive into its own directory. And once you have the directory, the unzip directory, move that into the where you'd like that uh, directory to be, its final, its final location. I'll, I'll put it into uh, documents lib. Once you have the directory and its final location, uh, let's go ahead and explore that directory. So if you go into it, you should see a few directories in there and a few files. The Really the important one we're going to focus on is the bin directory, which has all of our executables. So uh, just at a glance, you can see that it has things like gem or JRuby, uh, RI, it should be IRB as well. So uh, last thing that we need in order to finalize our install is uh, put this into our uh, path or path environment variable. So uh, the, the reason we'll do that is so that um, whenever we're using these commands from our, our console, uh, Windows or, or Linux or whatever operating system we're using, will know how, how to access these commands, right? So right now, if I type JRuby, Windows has no idea how, how to do that, right? So um, in order to update our path environment variable, um, go into your start menu and go ahead and type environment, start typing environment. Once you start typing, you should see this one, edit the system environment variables. Let's go into that and then go into environment variables. And right up here uh, in your user variables, double click on path, do a new and just paste that path, the, the path to the bin directory. Click OK. OK, let's close out of that. And once we've done that, now you can open a command line window and we should have access to all of those things now. So if I do like ruby.version or ruby.v, there we go. So it's fully installed now. Now that it's installed, we can play around with some of the executables. So for example, if we wanted to go into the interactive uh, command line, we would just type IRB. And one thing about JRuby is that it does take a little bit longer than normal Ruby just to start up. But once it is uh, loaded up, it should be uh, faster for, for most programs. Okay, so for example, if I wanted to declare a variable, right? So if I do x equals hello, right? And then you can do puts hello, puts x, for example. So uh, ba basic uh, interactive commands, right? something else. So let's say that you wanted to install packages. You can just like standard Ruby. So you can do a gem install. So let's say you wanted to install Sinatra, for example, you just do gem install Sinatra. Once there we go. It's so we can see that it uh, is let's download. go ahead and do a, uh, a very, very small, uh, simple program for Sinatra, just to show you that that does work. Okay, so I have a VS code open and I have set it as Ruby. So if I now save this file, I'm just going to save it into my, uh, let's just save it in documents as Sinatra.rb. Okay, so first thing we need is require Sinatra. And then we can just do get for root, do an end. And I'm basically just going to do hello. I'm just going to return a simple string. So if I want to run this, Go into my documents folder. Oops. And then I can just do JRuby and my file name, which is Sinatra RB. If I enter that, okay, so it did um, start up the program successfully. And it says right here that if I go to port 4567, I should be able to see my, uh, my, my API, right? So if I do localhost 
four, five, six, seven. There we go. And that works. And that, that's pretty much it as far as a simple um, install and how to access some of these binaries for JRuby. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you'd like to get notified for any future videos I have, please do hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much.